we take a look at some of the most amazing wheeled robots. At number 7, the Elevate. The Hyundai Elevate is one of the boldest designs out there. It is a concept project which shows how articulated legs and wheels can be combined to make a very impressive off-road vehicle. The robot will eventually lead to a larger variant which would essentially be a modular EV platform which can transport emergency workers over rough terrain. Similar to the scaled robot, it will use the latest actuator technology, which allows it to have 6 degrees of freedom. The legs would also be able to fold up and allow the vehicle to drive down the highway. So even though the final car is a concept, it's still pretty neat to see a scaled down robot which has this kind of locomotion. That's number 6, the Agro. Developed by the US military, the Agro uses its independently controlled wheels as a reaction mechanism to balance itself in the air. So it always lands upright and it's pretty much like a robotic version of a cat. The Agro robot has a four-wheel independent drive and steering architecture that enables it to maneuver omnidirectionally on the ground, but this also allows it to have the ability to orientate itself in the air. So its onboard initial measurement unit can detect the freefall in an instant, and then it triggers an integrated proportionate derivative controller that sets each of the wheels spinning at different angles and speeds. And these wheels allow the vehicle to be controlled in three axes while it's in free fall. It's probably not going to balance itself over 23 degrees deviation, but nevertheless, it's still a pretty interesting project. That's number five, and it's the self-driving cargo. One of the first autonomous electric vehicles is to be operational on British roads, and it's already been extensively tested. It utilizes auto navigation and it can learn in real time to make its best decisions on the road. The car is outfitted with 12 sensors, including LiDAR, radar, and ultrasonic, so it has 360 degree perception at 100 meters. Now it's going to be very interesting to see how redundant this car actually is because as you know, there are several companies out there that are looking at and trying to perfect autonomy in self-driving cars. And we are quite a ways away from level 5 autonomy, so whether this car is really safe or not, I'm not sure, but nevertheless, we are likely to see more delivery robots in the future. That's number 4, the Ascento. Robots will soon deliver pizza to your house, and you can finally stop tipping. Ascento is a two-legged robot which can jump, climb, and zip around at 5 miles per hour. Just like the other bots, its legs can articulate and it has a fairly complex algorithm which allows it to be stable while being resistant to external interference. So you can push it a little bit and it's probably not going to fall on the ground. It has multiple cameras and sensors which allows for 3D mapping and path determinations. So it has some autonomy but it's also remotely controlled as well. That's number 3, the Annie Mall, and it's not the Boston Dynamics one. So, there are quite a few articulated wheeled robots out there, but this is one of the most recent variants, and it's pretty impressive. The robot can carry about 10 kilograms, and it lasts up to 4 hours on a single battery charge. The Annie Mall utilizes onboard sensors and a motion planning microcontroller to selectively adjust the torque of each wheel. This allows some wheels to brake to provide grip, while others roll forward or backward as needed. So this allows it to have extreme mobility, and it also can climb stuff as well. Now it's not the fastest thing in the world with a top speed of 4 meters per second, but I'm sure one day that these robots will be able to play fetch, and maybe even do your laundry as well. That's number 2, the Duaxel. So we have seen off-world rovers get stuck, and this is a pretty big problem in isolated environments when you have no access to the machine. Meet the Duaxel, which is a flexible two-piece rover which can travel long distances and transverse down craters. The rover can lower its chassis and anchor to the ground before splitting into two. With the rear half tethered in place, the forward half undocks and rolls away on a single axle. The tether can supply power and communication back to the lander, while the wheel hubs can house microscopes, drills, sample scoops, and other instrumentation to study terrain. So there's no more worrying about getting stuck in bad locations. And eventually it could be used on the Mars or even the Moon. That's number one, the Perseverance. It should be no surprise that the most advanced robotic platform will be exploring another planet. The Mars rover will test the latest technology for future robotic and human missions on the Red Planet. It will include auto navigation, ultra high resolution cameras, and even ground radar. It's powered by a thermoelectric generator, which uses heat from the decay of plutonium for electrical power. 
but one of the most intriguing devices will convert the atmosphere into oxygen, and it could lead to a reliable source for making rocket fuel on Mars, as well as producing a habitable colony for humans, and ensuring humanity's survival. Ultimately, it could be one of the most symbolic moments for technology. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.